Hi everybody. <laughs> Day one home from the hospital. Can tell I'm happy, huh? You know, I really appreciated that first night. I mean, well, first night was surgery. But the second day, um, my doctor asked me if, if I want to go home that day, if I want to stay an extra day. I opted to stay that extra day and I was so happy about it, you know, because I was still feeling pretty bulk. But um, that third day, I was ready to go home, you know, so um, I, I can um, honestly say that I was a little bit of a grouch at the end of my stay there. Hey, before I talk more about I'm just going to talk to you while I do some painting. But I'm going to make this, I don't know if you can see it right here, I'm going to try to copy this mandala art. Um, onto one of my canvases that I bought when I went on my little shopping haul to Michael's before I went to the hospital. So um, I'm just using a glossy acrylic paint and I'm going to start painting this while we have a little chat for a while. See how long I can last. I, I've actually um, been doing pretty good today trying really hard not to overdo it because I don't want to you know have any fallbacks or any setbacks or anything I want to do exactly what I'm supposed to do so sitting up in this position actually feels good um, as opposed to laying down the whole time when I lay down the whole time my back actually starts to hurt as well and so at the hospital that was my only really complaint was that I, my back was starting to hurt from sitting so much so I mean from laying so much so anyway so I'm going to try and do this mandala art and if it turns out really nice I'll enter it in the fair next year and um, so what I was saying was the first night was surgery so of course I was completely out of it my surgery was at 1 30 in the afternoon so I was out of it that whole day the second day was the day my doctor asked me if I wanted to go home that day or if I want to stay an extra night, it's the day that I chose for to stay an extra day. And I was really happy about that because I, I really feel like I needed it. And it really helped me to um, heal a lot more, just relaxing there and getting the pain meds there. And But that third day, I was ready to come home, that's for sure, you know. And... Um, so, and I was getting a little uh, grouchy, I, I felt like, you know, the, um, and I don't know if it's a code with nurses. If you're a nurse, tell me about this, but I remember when I was in recovery and I had an RN that was there monitoring my pain and giving me pain medicine and he, he was in charge of just me and one other patient. And when he had me stabilized, um, then he called up for a room for me to be transferred upstairs and he said on the phone to whoever was at the station on the third station i have a very pleasant 54 year old woman uh that needs a room upstairs and so it made me wonder like you know sometimes do they have difficult patients and so they'll say oh well, i have a little bit of a grouchy one or is i don't know but he called me pleasant that day <laughs> and then the first nurse came in and took really good care of me and when she, they switched shifts I know that they always do this they bring in the next nurse with them introduce you to them and them to you and and so um, so the nurse that was leaving introduced me to the next nurse and she says we have a sweetie here very cooperative very you know um, pleasant blah 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 so you know there was being called pleasant two at two times in a row but by the third day there they had t my doctor told me I'd probably go home between 12 and 1 and my husband was gonna come pick me up and you know in a perfect world we just thought that he could get there close to the time I was gonna have pick up and then he would just drive the car around the nurse would have me down there I know that's in a perfect world and um, then we'd be ready to go. So the my doctor was off that day, so her PA was the one who was checking me out, who was writing my discharge paper. And he got there at 12.30, and so I was like a little weird about that because she had said I'd be out between 12 and one. But um, okay, I mean, I'm not the only patient they have, you know. 
And um, so he got there at 12.30. He said it usually takes an hour and a half to two. So I'm thinking 2.30 at the latest. My husband got there at two. And I said, well, just come upstairs because I don't know how long it's gonna be. So he got upstairs. We did not see a nurse again until 3.30. And at this point I was getting a little bit agitated because I felt like everybody else was getting put over me. And I know that's selfish because I'm not the only person in the world there, you know. So when she, my nurse came in at 3.30, I guess my response wasn't very nice because I said, well, Jesus, I'm glad somebody finally showed up here. And um, I said, my God, he, he came and um, told me at 12.30 that I could go home. And I, I could tell the nurse was a little taken back by me. And then she said, well, I had to wait for the discharge nurse to do the paperwork. And as soon as she gives it to me, I can start the process, which I, I do understand that. And um, then I could tell she felt a little uncomfortable. And then she said, we had a lot of discharges today. And then, of course, I'm in a crabby mood. And so I'm saying, that, yeah, obviously I must have been the last to let go. But I guess there always has to be a last. So, you know, I mean, I'm sure nurses are used to it when patients get crabby and... I just, I guess at that point, I just wanted to get home. And um, so then I had a really nice um, Mennonite um, aide. We have a lot of Mennonites that live by us and um, great people. And my aide for the day, my CNA was a, a Mennonite girl. And um, so she was in charge of getting me downstairs to my husband's truck. and. She was such a sweetheart, and then she saw my husband and getting in the truck, and she's like, isn't that him? I'm like, yeah. She's like, hold on, we're gonna go across the crosswalk so that he doesn't have to come all the way around and wait in this long line, and she buzzed us right through there. And I mean, seriously, we would have been there for probably a half an hour or more if she hadn't done that. And um, I was just like, oh my gosh, she must have heard my prayers, because I was being such a grouch by that time. Then we got in the car and then we only had like an hour and a half till the pharmacy was going to close in town and we live an hour from the pharmacy and I really didn't want to go to the pharmacy even though I work there. I just wanted to come home. So um, I was being a little bit of a crowd because of that and then um, because we got discharged so late, you know, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna, I gotta have some pain medication for tonight. And actually, when I got home last night, I probably would have been fine without pain medication. I've only taken it last night to go to bed, and then I took it, I took it after I got out of my first shower today. So, um, I had a shower today after three days, that felt good, but it did kind of make me sore, so I took a, I, they gave me tramadol. They only gave me 10 tablets, so as long as that will last me. So I've taken two. But um, anyway, so um, where was I going with this? Oh, so when my husband and I were on the way home, it's a very bumpy road to come home. And because um, it's not the freeway, it's country roads. And then I was complaining about that. And then he asked me something. I can't even remember what he asked me. And all I remember saying is, can I just, and I won't say, I just said, can I just be a bitch for one day? Okay, can I just be in a bad mood? And, poor, and he's like, yep, you sure can, you sure can. And I felt kind of bad afterwards, but at the time I didn't feel bad. I was just so grouchy and I, it really wasn't even directed at my husband. I think it was just my anxiety and just wanting to go home, you know? And so he dropped me off home and then he, booted it into town to get my medicine and he came back and um, so it all worked out fine but I was just a little bit stressed out and I just thought I would share that with you guys for today because I really can't do any cooking videos yet I, I just uh, I don't know how long it'll be before I can do a cooking video which will put me into withdrawals. I'm already looking on Pinterest at all these yummy recipes I want to make. And um, so I just, uh, I thought, well, I could just do my first thing of painting on my mandala, on my mandala art and we could just kind of talk as we do it. 
And um, so that was playing in my day yesterday. Um, today my husband, he um, teaches gun control classes, um, safety control um, for the NRA. He, and so um, anyways, he had classes today that he had to teach this morning. So he's like, so who do you want me to call to come take care of you? And I'm like, oh, I should be fine by myself. And my friend Jerry was coming over in the afternoon. Well, I didn't know when she was coming over. She actually got here about, I think like 1030 in the morning. So, but I mean, I really didn't need anything done. But then there's things that I don't think about. Like I wanted some ice and we get our ice in the 10 pound bags. And so I can't lift that yet. So like my husband had to give me some ice in a cup and then. The 7-Up was on the floor, and I'm not supposed to bend over yet, so those kind of things. But, I mean, if he wasn't here, I would just go without it, you know. So he got me all set up before he left. So, And so he left today, and then Jerry got here about 10, and then my husband actually got home shortly after because the class was early in the morning today. So I've had a good day. I, um, I'm tired now. I think it's like... It's like almost eight o'clock at night and um, I am sore a little bit but I don't want to lay in bed all day because that just is worse for me and um, so she has me my doctor wants me to walk a lot but she wants me to walk kind of humped over because um, the incision or the the hernia was so wide that she she put it back together but she says for that first week she doesn't want me to walk straight like standing straight because she doesn't want it to pull and so she actually ordered me a walker I'm like I don't need a walker she's like well I know you don't but it's just so that you will consciously stay bent over so that that's why sitting in this position doesn't really hurt because I'm not standing straight up you know so um yeah so today went good and um I've watched two movies and I've colored in my adult color book that um, my cousin Antoinette got me. Antoinette, I've done like three pages out of the color book. And um, I've done some stuff on my iPad. And now I'm doing um, this canvas for my mandala art. And I know it's going to feel weird in about a week not to go, you know, to go back to work. Because this is only day two to be home. And not even really day two it's more like my first full day um, and I'm thinking as I feel better I'm gonna start climbing the walls but I don't want to jeopardize getting hurt again so we will do what they said all right so I have my first I have my first coat of paint on here of the black gloss and um, one of my other channels, I can't have, remember how she pronounces her channel, but she's making a bird bath and she's done it in three segments so far and she's still not done. But I thought that was a great idea because I was like, well, I could do that with my mandala art and we could sit here and just talk and I could work on it as we go. So, all right, let me show you. So my canvas is all painted black now. And then we will start the dot process tomorrow. So it was nice talking to you guys, and uh, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Thanks for staying tuned. If you guys aren't a subscriber, I would love for you to subscribe to my page. I normally do a lot of baking and a lot of joking around and funny and lots of energy, and I'll get that back real soon. So, all right, you guys. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye-bye.